smart glasses I've used many over the years. Some play music, some have cameras on top of them to shoot photos and videos, some have dimmable shades, some even project a small display widget over the real world. But of all the smart glasses that I've used, these are probably my favorite. And here at Game Developers Conference 2023, I'll tell you why I think these are not just the best smart glasses out there, but also the best gaming accessory that you can buy. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker, and over the last decade, I've made it my job to show people around the world that tech can be easy, fun, and exciting. On this channel, I give you special access to the products I review, the events I attend, and all the exciting people I get to meet along the way. So if this is the kind of content you want to see, give me a like and subscribe, and I'll help you find the right gadget to match your needs. Hello from GDC. Here's how to level up your gaming experience with Enreal Air. Whether you own an Xbox PS5, Nintendo Switch, or Steam Deck, whether you game on an iPhone, Android, Mac, or PC, trust me, these Enreal Air augmented reality glasses are a great fit. And in this video, I've partnered with them to tell you all about how the technology works, Two, how to set it up with all of those consoles and devices I mentioned earlier, and three, why I think you should pick up one today. First things first, this is Enreal Air. They look just like a pair of sunglasses, perhaps a bit more chunky, and that's because they have these components built in. Think of them as mini projectors, so much so that when I put them on, it's like I have a 130 inch screen in front of me. This is what my iPhone sees when I try to film through them. Here's a rendering of what I see. These glasses are translucent, so when I have them on, I can see through them in the real world, which is great so you don't lose touch of what's happening around you. But you can also pop on this light shield if you want a more immersive, distraction-free experience. Built into the temples of these glasses are speakers so I can hear content that's playing. Unreal calls them a cinematic sound system, and they're perfect for watching movies too, be it in bed or on a plane. But this is a gaming video. These glasses are designed to be super comfortable. They weigh less than 80 grams, have hinges that have a 20 degree adjustable range, and a three-step rake system. In case one ear is higher than the other. And trust me, it's more common than you think. There's also these adjustable nose pads so the glasses fit perfectly on the bridge of your nose. And in case you need a different size, it ships with two extra ones. Also in the box is a prescription lens frame, which you can bring to your optometrist. I don't know about you, but, but, I'm feeling 22. but when I play, I play for a very, very long time. And I've had these on for many, many hours. And I can vouch for how comfortable they are. And when I say comfortable, I don't just mean how they feel uh, on my head, but also how comfortable they are to the eye. It might be a completely unconventional form factor, but Enreal Air works just like an external monitor or a TV screen. And that's why it makes the perfect accessory for gaming. For consoles, you'll need the Enreal Air adapter, which you can purchase separately for 59 bucks. The adapter has an HDMI port on one side and a USB-C port on the other. So even if you don't have a TV, if you want to play Horizon Forbidden West on your PS5, Forza Horizon 5 on your Xbox Series X, or Pokemon Violet on your Nintendo Switch, all you need to do is plug in the HDMI cable from your console into the adapter. That same cable that usually connects the console to the TV. Then connect Enreal Air to the adapter via the bundled USB cable. And you're golden. Next thing you know, you'll wonder why you didn't do this sooner. Enreal Air doesn't have built-in batteries, so it draws power from whatever device it's connected to. Now, if you're like me and like to travel with your Nintendo Switch, 
I have a pro tip for you. Leave your dock at home and get this portable dock instead. For this setup, you'll need your switch and Enreal Air, of course, the Enreal adapter, an HDMI cable, and the power adapter that comes with your switch. Now, because I take gaming seriously, I also travel with a controller. Just plug in the power adapter into the portable dock, as well as one end of your HDMI cable. The other end goes into the Enreal adapter, and now all that's left is to connect your Enreal Air and you're good to go. This weekend in San Francisco, I spent a good chunk of time playing the latest installment of Mario Plus Rabbids, Sparks of Hope. It's definitely a fun yet challenging game worth checking out. But for the most simple gaming setup on the go, you'll want a Steam Deck. No adapter needed, just plug the glasses straight into the Steam Deck. If you're unfamiliar, Steam Deck is a portable gaming device by Valve that lets you play all your Steam games. It's just a little bit larger and thicker than a Switch. I've been wanting to check out Hogwarts Legacy and have been intending on playing it on my PS5. But because my schedule has been full of travel, this portable gaming device makes much more sense. And with Enreal Air, it's even better because you have a large screen everywhere you play. So say I'm sitting here killing time between sessions at GDC, I can be playing a game on my Steam Deck with a large 130 inch screen in front of me. Now, let me tell you why I love Enreal Air. Don't get me wrong, I love playing on my Switch, but ever since I started playing with Enreal Air on, it's hard to go back. Now, I want a large screen everywhere I go. It's also better for your posture. When on a Switch, this is your usual posture. After a while, your neck muscles start to ache. With Enreal Air, there's no need to look down. You can lean back or lie down, and your screen is right in front of you. Enreal Air is available in Asia and Europe and finally made its way to the US via Amazon last September. It retails for $379. The adapter is an additional $59. So Enreal also makes another pair of glasses. This is the Enreal Lite and for this particular pair, they've developed a game called In Wonder which is an augmented reality game. So unlike playing on a Switch or a Steam Deck, this is an AR game, so I can actually navigate around an AR space. I think this demo is very important because previously on a Switch or an Xbox or a Steam Deck, you basically play games in a 2D space. This is a 3D space, so it's really full augmented reality and I can kind of walk around objects and kind of see things around me. To connect to a PC or Mac, you'll want Enreal's companion app, Nebula. On Android, you get an almost smart TV-like interface with plenty of apps and widgets at your fingertips, and the ability to use your phone as a controller. On a Mac, you can use Enreal Air to have three virtual screens. It's like having three monitors. So right now, I'm looking straight at one monitor. If I move my head to the right, there's a monitor here as well. And then if I look over here to the left, I have another monitor showing a reference PDF for the document that I'm working on. And because these glasses are translucent, if maybe I don't know where keys are, I can look down at my keyboard and still see them. Nebula for Mac is only available on Macs running Apple Silicon. So that's M1 or M2. And here at GDC 2023, Enreal announced that they're rolling out Nebula for Windows. The app doesn't roll out for another month or two, but here at the show, I was able to get an early sneak peek. Unlike the Mac app, which offers a view of three separate monitors, Nebula for PC gives you a large curved 21 by nine screen with enhanced three DOF tracking capabilities 
for an immersive gaming experience. Imagine something like the Samsung Odyssey Arc, which I sampled at CES this year. At the Unreal booth at GDC, I got to play Forza Horizon 5 on a Windows laptop connected to Unreal Air. And when I move my head from side to side, I can see more of the world around me. Perfect for an open world game like this one. Now, while currently it seems that the Nebula app for Mac is meant for productivity and the PC version for gaming, Unreal co-founder Peng Jin tells me, at the end of the day, it's really about choice. The idea is that we want to be able to bring AR display experience first to people, right? Because I think display experience is really the first step for people to feel comfortable with AR technologies and then we want to be able to bring them as many choices uh, as we can. We want people to be able to have customized experience, whether it's multi-windows, whether it's ultra-wide, and we're gonna try to bring that to the market in the next month or two. He might have even keyed me into future plans. The one complaint that people have is the compatibility issue. Because right now, for people to enjoy some of the AR display technology, it requires um, a mobile phone uh, that is compatible. And we're gonna try to change all of that. We wanna bring universal compatibility for the AR display experience for people. So. Uh, you know, uh, keep a lookout uh, for our announcement in the next month or two. And those are all the ways that you can level up your gaming experience with Unreal Air. I first heard about these glasses when I worked with Unreal last year and I haven't stopped using them since. And if you're a gamer too, then I think these accessories are definitely worth checking out. All right, that's all from me here at GDC 2023. The weather is a little bit bad, but I still hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to see more, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we upload. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff. And for news and updates, make GadgetMatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.